Hi, Soul Family. How are you? I thought I would do a um, just a quick reading today that was not quite as dramatic as yesterday. <laughs> uh, I was... Um, Actually, we're all lucky that I had to retake that video. Spirit knows what they're doing, right? By delaying certain things at certain times because I was so overwhelmed by what I had just experienced that I was, um, it was just too much. So I needed to get myself composed. Message, if you feel like something has been delayed and you know something has been delayed and it's very uncomfortable and you're tired of waiting, um, You've allowed some situation or some person to compose themselves after maybe going through something that left them feeling unbalanced or the situation was volatile, right? Message to self, who's um, been expected to wait forever. So, I, um, I don't know what it was. I... I think I saw on, on Facebook, I think that's what it was. I was looking at the marketplace because I always look at the, um, the what are they called, the, the conversion vans, right? That I, I, and I was watching that, that Blue International Harvester one and it finally sold and I thought, I wonder if it's back up. I wonder if somebody else has one. So I'm looking <clears throat> and, I, and what came up were all of the saved things that I had for my trailer, right? And I, I'd saved certain cabinets because I'm not going to put the regular cabinets back in. Um, I'm putting in antique cabinets or different dressers. I'm that's how I'm building it. I'm building it So it's like a little tiny home, right? And I don't like that look so I had a few things that I had saved and up popped this one um, I'm sure that this must have been what it was Yeah, there it is and I put an ad out. I've asked them about it. It's it's a sailing ship remember yesterday in the reading <clears throat> That I said, I don't want to work with this deck. I've worked so much and I needed to clear the deck, right? I needed to clear the energy of that deck. Well, what was a feature in that reading for that fellow as well as us was the, um, was the balancing act. And how that woman was out in the cold. And now was she or was she the man? Like, we don't know. It can be either, right? It's the energy. So somebody was out in the cold and they're holding on to the end of a string. So they're not letting go of something, but they see their ship sailing away. That ship that was throwing rose petals to them, but it's going away. They've turned away from it, but they're kind of looking back, right? So there's that message. So I go and up pops this cast iron ship doorstop. It's really cool. I wonder if I can drag it over here to show you. Isn't it cute? <laughs> and I kept getting from, remember when I bought the chests, the trunks for my, um, I brought these, I don't know if you guys remember, I'll show you. I bought these trunks for my, my little uh, camper. And I originally bought the big one. And, and I, I bought it before I could see it, and it's quite big. So that one, obviously, at this point, I think it's too big to go in there. I'm not sure, maybe not. I was gonna use it to lay the bed. See, like if you had a couch, right, and then the table, and then you lay it out, and the bed goes across, and, get, and you put like a little table between, and that's where you lay the futon. <clears throat> I have a queen size futon, but remember when I got this, I was so excited and I realized, oh my God, my ships have come in. <laughs> One, two, three, I think we counted four, four ships, which were the angels, right? And up on the top as well, the ships that had come in and spirit was saying to me, your ships have come in. And sometimes our ships have come in in here, um, in, but in the physical, we haven't seen them yet. We've got two up front and one on the back. And then this one is definitely the one that would go in there. And so I was looking at this and I was thinking, oh my God, there was something that I bought. And where is it? I bought a vintage clock because I said how my real father was a, he was a yacht guy, right? He was always on a boat, um, sold yachts, had boats. My brothers always had boats. I had a boat and I mean the mermaid, right? Do you remember my mermaid? <laughs> It was, a, it was moored down in San Diego, and I used to take my jet skis, get jet skis across, and I would use it just like a hotel. I never took it anywhere because I didn't know how to sail. I had it for a couple of years, and I loved it, and I had to give it away. Like, I literally gave it away with all the stuff on it. But anyway, I got the direction. The ships are sailing. That's what we got yesterday was the ships are sailing, and I looked at that, and it reminded me that I bought something else that day. I bought this. I bought that clock. I got. I keep trying to clean it with um, Windex, but it's quite old, right? Um, I remember my real father had one on his 
uh, I think it was in his shot, in his yacht. And uh, I remember, I think just before that, I had seen a boat at a, uh, and it was like a design. It was really cool actually. And I thought, why didn't I get that? And I thought, what am I going to do with a boat? But I'm drawn to them. And so I thought to myself, where did it go? Oh my gosh, it's gone. I, I did, I leave it there and they didn't say anything because, and then I thought, well, maybe it's inside one of the trunks. And it was, it was hidden inside that trunk. I hid it. Often, you know, you put stuff away in secret, secret, in secret places. You put, put stuff away in safekeeping and then you forget where you put it, right? So I pulled it out and I was, I'm like, oh my God, there it is. I was all excited. Now, remember when she was looking at the ships uh, or the ship that was leaving, it was leaving her. She was, and I thought, which direction is it going? Because, I mean, I'm always drawn back to the places I've been, right? Wisconsin, Sedona, but I want the trees. And I've always said, where the river meets the sea, that's where I'll be. And so when I plugged this in, first of all, when I looked up at the clock to see what time it was, it was 1.11. So it was keep, keep your thoughts positive and do you like what you're creating with what you're thinking? Because the universe has just taken a snapshot of what you're thinking about. You're creating your future. If you don't like what you're creating with your thinking, elevate your thinking, right? So I thought, well, the first thing that came to mind was the direction that it was sailing. So I'm looking at the boats here, and I'm curious to see. Let me just check. I knew it. All the boats on this trunk are sailing in that direction. But when I plugged in my, my clock, and it's a lamp, it's sailing in that direction, which completely makes sense for who I am, right? I mean, I'm always going against the grain. I'm a sacred rebel, right? But that also is showing me it's not going to Wisconsin. It's not going to Sedona. It's going towards the ocean. So it started me thinking again about when I was in Morro Bay, how much, that's what got me so, so, so amped about getting that little trailer was when I went to stay up in Morro Bay, right? Where the river meets the sea, the trees. So that's one of our items. That will be water element, clearly. And then another one of our items is this, this candle holder. I love this. Little things, inexpensive things. So the price tag is still on it. $3.99. Got it at a thrift store. And I freaking love it because when you light the candle, it shoots out the pine cones and the leaves all around it, the room. It's really beautiful. So again, the sea and the trees, right? So this will be earth element. And then... I have my pelican. What's so cool about this pelican is look at its mouth. Can you see? There's a fish inside its mouth. It's not dead, he's swimming. So it's like the pelican is giving the fish a lift. It's perfectly in perfectly good shape. It's not crunched, it's, it's just swimming in the bucket. Can you see? There we go. It almost looks like, well, I was gonna say it looks like a swordfish. So. That will be air element, right? So the sword, ooh, swordfish. That makes sense. The pelican has a swordfish in its mouth. So let's see who the pelican is, shall we? Pelican totem. I already know what pelican totem talks about. Um, you think about when the pelicans, and we've had them in our bay. Ah, I've got the fish in my mouth and I haven't heard it. I'm carrying it, giving it a lift. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. Check it out. The redhead. Oh my God, got a little bit of bottom heavy, <laughs> standing on blue feet, <laughs> truthful. Maybe it's cold in that water that they're standing in. Yeah, I think so. So pelican, you, you think of them flying along and they, and they go down with their big bill like a, like a, I keep thinking of a dumpster, right? And they pick it up, everything in the water, they scoop it all up and then they have to, they you know sift through, they dump the water out and they keep what they've caught as far as fish. And uh, so it's talking about dumping out what doesn't, no longer serves you, right? What doesn't work for you. It also talks about releasing any of your burdens. Um, you think about pelicans and when they come here to my bay, it's so incredible because they don't show up very often and they're white, they're giant ones and they're white. And they all hang out together, they're in a team. And now remember yesterday we were talking about us not doing things alone, but ha asking for assistance and allowing ones to help. And what did I say? This pelican is giving this swordfish a lift. Now you think about the swordfish, queen of swords, king of swords. I'm a fish too, right? Hmm. Is pelican giving me a lift? How interesting. So let's see. Oh, the pelican, um, it always, it also talks about forgiveness. And there was something else that came out that I wanted to share. 
It came, it came to me last night when I wasn't sleeping, <laughs> which happens a lot. And uh, detach, detach. Stop talking about that. Stop saying you're not sleeping. Start saying that you're gonna sleep. Well, the message was Red Wing Blackbird. And I don't know that that came out. I think it came out afterwards I posted. Um, when I was lying there, I closed my eyes and I saw a vision of a black bird flying. And it was yesterday I noticed the, the crows were flying really close to my window. Really close. They, they, sometimes they'll come in really, really close. I think they're bothering the barn swallows, which are the harbingers of hope. And so they were making themselves very known. And the crows come out of the darkness. It's like coming out of the void, right, between worlds. Um, they bring magic and miracles, but they can also be thieves stealing something. So I looked and I heard, and when I went to look for a picture, I said, what kind of a blackbird was it? Was it a, and, and what came to mind was um, in uh, Wisconsin, Uncle Phil and I would, would see the blackbirds. And they sit on the, on the fence posts all along. And uh, so, hmm, I was wrong. I'm glad I was wrong. So I, I gave the message of the red-winged blackbird and I thought to myself, there's something else. There's a different message to that. And it was actually a message about um, secrets. And I thought, ooh, is there something I missed? Because that was all part of um, the reading yesterday, right? Secrets. And they weren't. It wasn't that. It wasn't part of that. So I'm glad. So, okay, I was course corrected. I like that, being course corrected in that kind of way. Um, I will share with you really quick. Well... Well, we're figuring out. We've got the pelican. We've got the um, the ship that's sailing, heading towards the sea. We've got the forest, illuminate, illuminate, illumination in the forest. And the last one is my constant to totem. Constant. It's always in my window looking at me. It is the turquoise hummingbird. And you know what's interesting about the turquoise hummingbird? My daughter said, that's you, Mom. You're the hummingbird. And it's funny because when the totems come to us one by one, they all become either a permanent totems or a temporary totem. Um, ooh, are you missing a little rhinestone? My best friend sent me this from Wisconsin and it's so beautiful, I should wear it. Um, it was shown to me that this hummingbird was a man in my life. And I thought that makes sense, it keeps coming to my window, right? So we're gonna choose this one too. So we've got water, earth, air, fire. Wow, that's really interesting. Well, I am the, that's interesting though. Song, I'm not looking for someone with some superhuman gifts. I'm looking for someone just like this. Someone who might see themselves as insignificant. I'm not looking for a superhero. I've been reading books of, what is that song? I've been reading the legends and the myths of Achilles and his gifts. I've been reading books of old. I love this song. Um, you know, a lot of times people misunderstand what it is that we mean, right? So when you say you want somebody who's an emperor, you want a king, you want, you know, you, you, you want to have somebody on your same spiritual level as you. I would say you want somebody who's, who is interested in being there, who's interested in moving in that direction. We're not all on the same level. We're all on different levels at different times, right? Some people are more advanced in certain areas than others. But this one, this hummingbird that was shown to me as a male in my life doesn't feel how amazing they are. This humming, hummingbird is, is so accomplished. They can go backwards and forwards and upside down. They're like a little helicopter, right? They're amazing. Um, nobody looks at a hummingbird. They, you know, they, they're aer aerodynamically incorrectly built. They shouldn't be able to fly, just like the bee. And they've got that big, long beak, right? But nobody looks at a hummingbird and says, what a freak. Oh, see, that's higher self <laughs> when I rhyme. Um, they think, wow, that's incredible. That's incredible what you can do. This is my soul color, turquoise, right? And uh, so I think of the song, I've been reading books of old and legends and the myths, Achilles and his gold, Hercules and his gifts, Spider-Man's control. Remember yesterday, there was, there was somebody that was wanting to control and Batman with his fists, but I was always shown as Bat Batman was a female. So a very abusive female. Could be words, could be, could be physically. Sometimes men are physically abused by women, right? and they're too much of a gentleman to hit back.
Clearly, I don't see myself on that list. But she said, where do you want to go? How much do you want to risk? I'm not looking for somebody with some superhuman gifts, with superhero, you know, fairy tale bliss. Just somebody I can turn to, somebody I can kiss. I want somebody just like this. And so you may feel insignificant when you don't recognize the amazing gifts that you have. Song. Same type of energy. Send me your location. Let's focus on communication. I just need the time and place to come to. But let's hear this. This is there's a lot of talking happening here. Good vibrations. I love that, right? When you're vibrating, we be vibing. Um, at times I wonder why I fool with you, but this is new to me. This is new to you. Initially, I didn't want to fall for you. Gather my attention. It was all for you. So don't take advantage. Don't leave my heart damaged to understand that things go a little bit better when you plan it. So won't you send me your location? Let's focus on communication because I just need the time and place to come through. Send me your location. Let's ride the vibrations. I love that. I don't need nothing else but you. I don't want to fall in love off of sub-tweets. Let's get personal. Somebody once said to me, I'm not about getting to know somebody on a computer. <laughs> and I said, well, if I knew where you were, I'd get there. But I don't have a freaking car to get my ass planted in front of you to get to know you. Right? So what if this pelican is giving this swordfish a lift? Somebody needs a lift. Send me your location. Ride, ride. Come ride the vibe with me tonight. I don't need nothing else but you. So this person has been hurt before, this is new to him or her, right? This is new to me, this feeling. Maybe it's just new that I've developed feelings for somebody. I'm not, I'm not somebody that would wanna get to know somebody on the internet, right? Um, but can you hear the, the, the kindness and the, and the gentleness in this person's voice? I don't know if you guys can hear it, but um, somebody's gonna give somebody a lift. Maybe they just need to give them an energetic lift, you know, ride the vibration. So these are our items to choose from, and I'm glad that I was wrong. Uh, well, I wasn't certain. I'm glad that, I, that it wasn't about the red-winged blackbird that I was um, supposed to add something to because there is another bird, and um, it was similar, and it was a, a more of a warning, and I didn't want that today. It was like enough yesterday was enough. <laughs> it was enough for me. So the red-winged blackbird... Um, I'll share with you now that you know your items that you can choose from, right? Spirit woke me with a vision of a single blackbird flying. That's right, I was asleep. All day today, I watched the crows flying very close to my window, but this one was different from the crows. They showed me the red-winged blackbird. So there were crows there, but this one was different. Crows kept coming at me, but, but there's one that's different that keeps coming to my window. So, and then what came to me first was the song. Blackbirds singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. All your life, you were only waiting for this moment to arise. Blackbirds singing in the dead of night. Take these sunken eyes and learn to see. All your life, you were only waiting for this moment to arrive. You've been waiting for this moment to be free. Blackbird, blackbird, fly into the light of the dark black night. Blackbird, blackbird, fly into the night of the dark black night. All your life, you were only waiting for this moment to arise. Someone's flying, right? They're needing to fly. Red alert, you've been ignoring the obvious for too long. <clears throat> Time to do something about it. Only by admitting your true feelings to yourself right now can you move forward with love and respect for yourself. You have the ability to understand and share that understanding of forces of nature. Be yourself and speak from the heart. Somebody is talking to someone every single day and, and being really friendly and sharing really important things, but they're not talking to them as themselves. They're not letting them know who it is. And even though the person has an idea, the spirit says you need to be yourself. It's not moving forward because you're not being honest about who you are. So um, you've got the ability to speak from the heart. You know that your manifesting needs to be balanced on all levels, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Ground yourself in nature through meditation and make sure that all is in tune. Hmm, I wanted it to happen. interesting everything is I'm gonna have to ask spirit if we okay that one they're all falling everything's falling 
Okay, remember yesterday, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Timber, it's going down. It's the rest of this one. <sighs> um, in this case, the red wing blackbird symbolism is letting you know that the forces of nature are at work. There's big changes that are coming into your life right now. These changes have been slowly manifesting all around you and are now ready to burst forth and become a reality. Thus, if you pay close attention to where you see this bird, well, I just saw it flying by my window, right? My eyes were closed and I saw the blackbird flying and I heard the song. That's what I went to first. That's why I knew blackbird. And then when I looked up blackbird, it was the red wing blackbird that jumped out. There is, there is a simple blackbird, but this is the message that came. So let's finish this. Um, pay close attention to where you see the bird. You may be able to foresee what changes are coming. Like if you're sitting on, if, if you're in a field, if you're at work, where are you? There's changes uh, in that area. Well, to me, where I saw it was in, 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 the, in the mental. I saw it in the etheric realm. I saw it in my dream time. So there, there was change, there's change happening in my etheric world. I want it to come into reality, right? Um, you may be able to foresee what changes are coming because right now they're ready to burst forth into reality is the message, right? So you're meant to be in a supportive... So now this is the part that's, that, that I've read. I've been here before. And Spirit has said that to me uh, two days ago. That you're going to start getting information. And you're going to be like, whoa, deja vu. I've been there. Because I have been there. Because I've already dreamed it. And I've got this all written down. That right now, you may... You, you need to stay grounded, for one thing. Right? Stay grounded. And you're meant to be a supportive role without... Um, inserting your intentions or propaganda. So without you pushing your agenda onto somebody else, you're supposed to stand back and not judge, but unconditionally accept the fact that there's something happening in, a, in another's family and you are to provide a safe haven. Ooh, see the pelican is keeping that swordfish in here safe, right? And, and it's not to give this one advice. It's not to ask this one questions. It's not to tell this one or to judge this one. And, or be a part of the drama or get mad at anybody. It's just to be there for them in a supportive role, right? I'm a safe haven. This is a safe place for you to come. So that's, that's one of the messages. And it's about omens and mysticism. It talks about, uh, and it will reveal the fears that you're having, maybe through this reading, right? Maybe through the songs that pop up. Um, and it opens your energy to new adventures, new experiences that maybe you're nervous about undertaking. Um, it's also going to ask you if you've become too territorial, um, meaning you're not allowing anyone in, right? Territorial, keeping everybody out, um, guarding your territory. Um, so you need to allow somebody in so that you can collaborate. So that song, send me your location. Let's focus on the communication, right? Show me where you are. I'll come talk to you. If you can't get to me, I'll come to you. I, that's what was said to me. I was stuck in Sedona. I had no car. And if I could have gotten there, I would have, but I couldn't. And I said, you know, I, I, would, I don't want to get to know somebody on the internet either. Show me where you are and I'll go there. And what I kept getting this morning is meet me in Tampa. Meet me in Tampa. Might mean something to somebody. So um, it also is talking about the, the people that are red wing blackbird people. They know how to move with determination and they're focused. Um, they, 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 they use their gifts and their abilities to their full potential. They're very connected to nature and their intuition. And they understand how their intuition is supporting them and guiding them. And it talks about bringing surprises when you least expect it. We got that yesterday, right? The Joker's wild. Anything could happen. Um, now, in, in a dream, if you see the blackbird. Now, I saw the dream. I saw him in, in the dream. A lack of motivation. You're not utilizing your full potential. So I did. I, I opened my eyes, but I had my eyes closed. So I wasn't asleep, but it was a, it was a vision. So I guess I wasn't asleep. Um, they also represent jealousy, lust, or temptation. So what I wanted to go to was pelican, right? But I said something else. Oh, I said the regular blackbird, the regular black. There is a regular blackbird. They're, they're beautiful. They've got rainbow wings. Ah, oh, I know who you are. Blackbird totem. Um, I used to see them in Sedona, uh, not in Sedona, actually in Cottonwood. <clears throat> and they were... I thought they were starlings, but they weren't. Blackbird, <clears throat> it's, it represents knowledge. They're carriers of intelligence and quick wit. People born under that totem are very spiritual. They are extremely intelligent, very smart. I know who this is. 
Um, I want to go to my spe special. My special. I have a special. Not you. There's one organization that I like. <laughs> oh, that makes me laugh just hearing that itself. Uh, this one? No, I don't want Red Wing. See, I'm looking at Red Wing. I just want Blackbird. Blackbird. Spirit Animal. Hmm. What is it you want me to see? So mystery, mystery, seriousness, keeping secrets safe. Interesting, right? Remember about yesterday and secrets? Some secrets that need to be kept, some that need to be spoken. Um, they demand our devotion and commitment. Oh my God, do I ever know who you are? They demand our devotion and commitment first before they even consider opening up to us. <laughs> really? Well, the lesson is to not give yourself away too easily. Somebody demands your devotion without opening up to you. It goes both ways. I know who you are. Okay, so we, I had the, the cards all flipped out when I was flipping through here. And uh, the pina coladas, if you like pina coladas. I know that message too. I think I spoke about the, the pelican totem. Um, <laughs> it's when you, when you look at somebody in judgment. Remember that was the message yesterday about not judging your brother. Um, who could be a sister or could be a lover. We're all brothers and sisters, right? Um, because whatever you see in them, there's an aspect of, of that in yourself that you don't like. And that's why when you look at it in them, you really don't like it because it's reflecting. What it does is it reflects back to you bigger, larger, the aspects of yourself that you want to get under control. Now, you may, and, and that's why they're like, wow, you really see it because what they're doing is ridiculous. But there's a part of you in there that you have to look at. It's just reflected back bigger at you so that you pay attention to what you're doing because the message for me, or the message for you guys is always my message, right? So it talks about accepting, um, a free from judgment and allowing forgiveness because that's the, one of the messages from Pelican is forgiveness. Dropping the past, dropping the resentment, dropping the anger, being willing in the song, let's focus on communication. Well, that can't happen if, there's, if you're holding on to the past, right? And that goes both ways. Um, it's funny, um, it's, I, what I'm hearing in my head is chewing on the past. If you're constantly chewing on your, pa on your past, you're keeping it present. You're not able to get through it. Somebody gave me a, a message this morning about someone you know, who cares about somebody, but they keep thinking about the past person and, and how it could have been so amazing. And it's like, you know what? Go there then, go there then. If you can't get over that past person, don't come here. And, and, and what they were doing is they were thinking about why it could have been this, it could have been that. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't that. And the reason it wasn't that was because it wasn't meant to be. It never would have been that. Not with you. Not with them. So continuing to chew on the past is what I'm getting, is, is you continuing to keep the pain alive, the, the, the um, defeat alive, the, the feelings of, of um, whatever you went through at that time. Why didn't it work? Because it wasn't supposed to. Now, it might have been that it wasn't supposed to work at the time, right? And if you have the ability uh, or, or desire to, to re revisit something, fine. But if the person has moved on and it's over, stop chewing on the past. You're just keeping it alive. There's no need to be self-sacrificing or sacrificing yourself at the expense of others. You are supposed to ask for help. This pelican is giving someone a lift. You don't have to do it all yourself. Help is available to you in many different ways to ease the burden of whatever it is that you're going through. And a lot of times it's pride that stops us from asking for help. Hey, I got no pride. I got no pride. I'll ask. Whatever you want to bring me, right? My highest good. I said, bring me a shitload of money and dump it in my bank so I can get my trailer fixed and get moving, right? Cooperation is key. You think of the, the, the pelicans, they all hang out together. It, they, they're all part of the United Collective, right? So cooperation is key at this moment. And the key word is let go of ego. Let go of ego. You're, you're delaying what it is that you want because you're stuck in a place of, oh, well, it doesn't look right. Remember that guy? I'm not, I don't see myself upon that list. That's also ego. Because who said that you have to be on that list, right? Batman with their fists as some superhero. And... Who wants a superhero anyway? I want a real person. So superheroes are never around. I want somebody who's around. 
So the first message, we're gonna start with where we started. So we started with the boat, we went to the fir, fir forest, then we went to the pelican, and then we went to the hummingbird. So we have water, earth, air, fire. So water, the golden palace. Now the golden palace showed up yesterday and I, I was, the way it showed up was it looked like a golden palace, but it wasn't, it was a prison. And I remember I said there was that one that was balancing up on the hill above the water, on the mountain above the water, they were balancing. They were trying to find their balance. They live in a palace. And the number is 23, freaking slam dunk. <laughs> Michael Jordan's color, color, right? Why do I always say color? So the color is red, passion, right? The bulls, black and red. So black is elegance, black and red. Passion, those are the colors. Heart. So the song is, you gotta make it on your own, but we don't have to grow up. Somebody says, you could just stay. Just stay where you are. Don't, don't move on, don't, don't grow up. Just stay where you're at. Yeah, no, not, not a good place to be. So this doesn't talk about staying where you're at. This talks about wealth. This talks about ambition. This talks about having fulfilled what it is that you've wanted, to, that you've worked towards. God, what a beautiful location. Look at, look at the trees and the roots, right? When the water meets the sea, that's where I'll be. I, I'll go there, thanks. It's a beautiful place. It's telling you that you're entering a time that you deserve. It's long overdue, a time of happiness. Who is this? The water element. Very cool. <sighs> however, however, self-worth isn't measured by success as far as material items. I gotta turn the radio on, it's a little too loud. I was just thinking about, you know, Batman and his fists, and I've been reading the books of, and the, of the legends and the myths, and I don't see myself upon that list. And I was thinking yesterday about, I was seeing, uh, sharing, um, Sandra Bullock is the one that got the most uh, attention. Sandra Bullock is always the girl next door, right? And she, every time that there's a daz disaster, she quietly donates millions of dollars. And I said, good for her. What's the point of having millions of dollars if you can't help? It doesn't say that you have to be self-sacrificing and overextend. You're supposed to give from your surplus. Well, clearly she has a surplus, right? So good. I'm proud of you for fulfilling your soul's path, but you shouldn't be getting extra accolades for that. You've got that to give, right? Many of us, if we had that to give, we would. So this isn't about riches. It, it's about achieving a situation. It's about achieving a state of being. Um, to me, it's about, about ascension. You've reached a place. You're on top of the mountain. You've gone through a really difficult time. You may have nothing. <laughs> you may have lost everything going through it but you're standing on top of that mountain and now you've got the view and now you can see things. You can see where, where you're going, where you wanna go. You got the giant moon behind you and there's a little moon, a new crescent moon. So that's interesting to me, different worlds. Hmm. The backing of different worlds. We, we got that yesterday, assistance from different worlds and the new moon wishes. So I think it's also talking about the full moon and then short, the time frame of the full moon and then shortly thereafter in the new moon because the full moon you release everything that no longer serves you and then the new moon is when you put out your wishes right so now your wishes have, have, are, are coming what you've been asking for it, it's at your fingertips and your wealth is about how authentically you are living your life standing in your integrity and your truth and your honor it does also represent material gain it does so maybe you've been waiting for something to come through and it's there for you but the message is, like I said, when I was thinking about Keanu Reeves and uh, Sandra Bullock, it's funny, in all the movies with the actresses, you know, Jennifer Aniston and Sandra Bullock were the ones that I always would put myself as. I wasn't, I wasn't the one that was all gussied up. I was the girl next door one, usually Sandra Bullock, right? Hair in a ponytail. Um, and here, I like, I, I like both of those people. I like that, that energy. Uh, Keanu Reeves, you know, also does the very same thing, very quiet. And somebody said, well, obviously it's not that anonymous. Well, obviously they're not tooting their own horn. Someone else is tooting it because they should, right? Somebody else should give them credit for doing what they do. It's a kindness. But those are the ones that I would emulate myself after, right? Their attitude, their energy. Keanu Reeves dr drives around, uh, on, on the, takes the subway. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't make himself stand apart, he, he wants to belong to everyone else. He just wants to be a regular person. What if you were born into royalty, right? And, and you were constantly living up in a palace and you didn't wanna be in that palace. You just wanted to be like everyone else. That would be me. 
So this is a beautiful message. Song right now, I want it, I like it, I got it, it's mine. I want it, I see it, I like it, I want it, I buy it, it's mine. So maybe you've got the ability to do that. That's awesome. I'm not saying money is a bad thing, I say give it to me. I think it's great. <laughs> so if something's coming forward, thank you, bring it, right? That's a blessing. Okay, so the next message that comes is going to go to the fur family of the trees. And the saddest thing happened, um, the, it wasn't the one that I thought, but there are two drive through, well, there's a drive through and a, and a hike through big giant sequoia, thousand years old and it fell in the storm, thousand years because they hollowed out the base of it. You know, they can't, they can't stand if they hollow them out. Things I learned about the giant sequoias when I was up there, I'm a sequoia girl, is um, they can't be too close together and have other trees lean on them too much because they'll eventually topple over, doesn't matter how tall they are. So it's like a, a not allowing yourself to be self-sacrificing, right? Allowing someone to constantly lean upon you is gonna knock you over. Also, they can't be in a, in a very um, wet, they can't sit in water too long or they'll, fall, or they'll fall over as well. So they can't be in an emotional situation, no matter how tall, no matter how grand, no matter how big they are, if they're soaking in their own emotions, they're gonna fall over. Um, they can't be, um, what else are they were telling us? Um, what the message to me, what, what I got, was about parents that lean on a child, um, wanting this child to be their friend and telling them their sad story. And they've heard this story their whole life and to the point where now this person's not even allowed love near because the mom went through all of this stuff and, and it's, I don't ever wanna deal with that because I've heard this sad story. Somebody's been chewing on the past in my ear, my whole life, I've been hearing the same sad story. But the problem is you started to take on the feelings of, of what happened to this parent and it wasn't even your story to tell or to have the results of. So because of that one chewing on the past over and over and over and over, it's made you afraid or remember that song by Kelly, Kelly Clarkson, Because of You? I, I keep it on the safe side of the street. Because of you, um, I don't let anyone get too close. That's exactly what we're talking about, because of you. And it makes me, you know, I, I heard this my whole life too. I will not make the same mistakes you made. I will not let myself cause my heart so much misery. I will not break the way you did. You fell so hard, right? You fell so hard for somebody and they crushed you. I'm never gonna allow somebody to have my heart so they can crush me. I'm, I've learned the hard way to never let it get that far because as soon as it gets too close and I feel that, I cut and run, I'm out of there. Because of you, I never stray too far from the sidewalk. I stay up in my, my, my little gilded castle even though it feels like a prison to me. Because of you, I learned to play on the safe side so I don't get hurt. I find it hard to trust not only me, but everyone around me. You know that blackbird that's not going to trust anyone until they know that they're 100% devoted to them? So they test them. And with that, what happens? That ship that was throwing the rose petals starts sailing away because don't test me, talk to me, communicate with me, don't test me, tell me what you feel, tell me what you want. Because of you, I'm afraid, I lost my way. I lose my way and it's not too long before you point it out. So then you've got a parent that's telling you. They've raised you to be. Remember I said, my little trailer, I'm not gonna build it the way it was built before. I'm building it with support beams running right alongside of it because it was built to fall apart. It wasn't built for the long haul. This one's gonna be built stronger and it's gonna be taken care of because this person was not. I lose my way and it's not too long before you point it out. I cannot cry because I know that's weakness in your eyes, Batman, with your fists, right? I'm forced to fake a smile, a laugh, every day of my life. My heart can't possibly break when it wasn't even whole to start with. Because of you, I never stray too, too far from the sidewalk. Because of you, I learn to play on the safe side so I don't get hurt. Because of you, I find it hard to trust not only me but everyone around me. Because of you, I'm afraid. I watched you die and I heard you cry every night in your sleep. I was so young, you should have known better than to lean on me. I said that when I watched those, I saw those giant sequoias. It's not okay. When, when I, when my ex molested my daughter and I mean, the whole world just fell out and it had just happened so many times, right? One bad thing after another and I was like, what, is, what have I done to deserve this? I've been a good wife, I've been a good mother. I, I, I was a good kid, I was a good Jehovah's Witness. Why did I deserve this? Of course I didn't deserve any of it. It was learning lessons and it was teaching me to be strong. And it, you know the puzzle pieces that you don't understand until you get past and then you can see them all together? Well, the message was just that. I called my grandmother, and who was my hero, and I said, I can't do this anymore. I just want to have a nervous breakdown, go into my head and never come back. People do it all the time. And she said, yeah, well, we aren't made that way. 
So go have a good cry and close the door. Don't let your freaking kids see it. You've got two kids that are counting on you. Close the door, pull it together, and get out there and be a mother. And I had exactly an hour to feel sorry for myself. I had two children waiting for me to take care of, right? So right now, this one, you leaned on me. I was so young, I've watched that. I've watched a parent who lost a parent of theirs cry, crawled up on the kitchen counter and cried while their five-year-old took care of them. So selfish. You're the parent. I should have known better than to, to lean on. You should have known better than to lean on me. You never thought of anyone else. You just saw your own pain. And now I cry in the middle of the night for the same damn thing. Because of you, I never tra stray too far from the sidewalk. Because of you, I learned to play on the safe side so I don't get hurt because of you. I try my hardest just to forget everything because of you. I don't know how to let anyone in. Because of you, I'm ashamed of my life. Because, of, because it's empty, because of you, and I'm afraid. Well, there's a reason now to get away from this. We all know that we have to make choices. We have to ask for help. So if you've been in this situation, first of all, you need to forgive the past, stop chewing on the past, let it go, right? And there is somebody that wants to help you. This pelican is holding this stored fish. Song right now, what I said yesterday, you got off in a hurry. You, 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 light, fi you light the fire to my forest and you watched it burn. I need to lose you to love me. So there's, things are happening and they feel awful at the time. But when you look back, you understand why. The next one, into the unknown. There you go. Into the unknown. You don't know where you're going. You want to talk about the leap of faith this Aquarius is taking? Number seven, that's the number. You're on the right path and it will exceed your expectations. Isn't that a bluebird sitting on the, on the edge right there? Let's see. My mom's mongbo. It is. It's a bluebird. Bluebird of happiness sitting on the edge of that palace. Ooh, think about it. There you are. I want to leave my prison. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm about to take a leap of faith into the unknown. And spirit says, go for it. That's the right path to take. That's the person that's in the fir forest is being told that. Hmm. You've got a snake wrapped around your arm, which is healing. You're holding on to a key that's got the wings of the butterfly. The key to your future is moving in to the future, not knowing maybe how it's gonna turn out. Maybe this is a project, maybe this is a relationship, maybe this is moving away from your golden palace, from your family, from your roots, going into somewhere. It's an adventure. Life is an adventure, we're supposed to live it. And there are situations that show up that we don't know how to deal with them, right? Oh my God, what's gonna happen? Well, that person said, oh, you can't go do that. Be careful because they're only gonna hurt you or you can't, you know, what do they want? They wanna keep you there. And the point is, they're not trying to keep you safe. They're keeping you there so, so you don't move forward, so they got someone to take care of. Don't be sacrificing yourself was the message, right? So this is one of those times that you have an opportunity arise in front of you, and you're not quite sure how to deal with it. That's where you're at right now. And you're required to trust. And there's gonna be all kinds of things that happen. The bluebird of happiness is here. You've got the key, the golden key. You've been given the golden key. There's been a healing that's taking place. Midnight blue, sapphire blue, it's the color of the, of the stellar J. Hmm, <laughs> stellar J. So you're being asked to step into the unknown and know that, what was my, what was my sweatshirt? Do not uh, follow where others lead, blaze a trail and leave a path. Leave a trail. Whatever it is, spirit's saying, the words that you wanna hear, you're going to be safe. You will be safe. That is the message to this, to this card. This is the one that you get. So spirit says, stay aware because there's new adventures and there's opportunities and there's treasures and there's miracles. There's all kinds of freaking amazing, amazing things that are going to happen. That's amazing. So now we move to the Pelican gentle gardener. Interesting. Everybody's upright right now. First thing I'm going to say, all the words are in my head. I'm tired of the way that things have been tired of the way that things have been. I am the master of my sea. That ship's sailing, right? Second thing first, don't you tell me what you think that I should be. I'm the, I'm the, one, at the, I'm at the one at the sail. I'm the master of my CEO. There you go. These are all going in order. Hmm. I was broken from a young age. Pain has made me a believer. There you go. That's what happens. That's what I said. It's made me a believer that there are other forces out there that can help me. The number two, there is somebody in spirit that is watching over you. The gentle gardener is watching over you. Look at that loving energy looking down upon you. 
The grandmother. Oh, the grandmother. I've met her so many times in my dreams, too. Two. Things that are happening the way they're meant to happen. The number two. Everything is fine and will continue to be so. Keep believing, especially since your feelings of hope lead to more positive outcomes. The angels can buoy your faith if you ask for their help. This is an angel. This is an angel, this pelican. They bob along on their emotional waters. They're very buoyant, right? They, they're holding you safe. Look how safe you are. You don't even, you can just, you're just going along for the ride. Spirit's got this. Spirit has got a plan. So the gentle gardener is coming forward. What's happening here? We've got new birth. These are all eggs that are opening. One, two, three, four eggs. <laughs> Fairies. Fairies sitting on, okay, only three of them have opened. Ascended Master's working with you. Only three of the eggs. Okay, so we've got the grandmother watching. And we got three of the ascended masters that are that are just waking up. Hmm. Fairies. No, the ascended master is is assisting three. Three is full circle completion, and you it's a new beginning. So it's not the three ascended masters that are waking up. The ascended master is above. That's the grandmother. The three in the egg below. There's five eggs there, but only three have opened. Hmm. Three of cups. Third party situation. Two are awake and one is asleep. Look at this. This one's sleeping, these two are awake. Hmm. One is, what are you doing? I like looking at the details. The message is in the details. One is playing an instrument, the other one is braiding their hair, and the other one is asleep. Braiding your hair. Braiding your hair, getting ready to go, playing music, Playing the flute, playing the flute. Pan plays the flute. Pan plays the flute. Three, third party situation. Peter, Pla Peter Pan playing, the, playing in the woods, no. Lost boy, I'm a lost boy from Neverland. There was a time when I was alone. Nowhere to go and no place to call home. My only friend was the man on the moon. And even sometimes he would go away too. Then one night as I closed my eyes, I saw a shadow flying high. It's what I did last night. He came to me with the sweetest smile, told me he wanted to talk for a while. He said, Peter Pan, that's what they call me. I promise that you'll never be lonely. And ever since that day, I am a lost boy from Neverland, usually hanging out with Peter Pan. And when we're bored, we play in the woods, always on the run from Captain Hook. Run, 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 lost boy, they said to me, away from all of reality. Neverland is home to the lost boys like me, and lost boys like me are free. Neverland is home to lost boys like me. All lost boys like me are free. He sprinkled me in pixie dust and told me to believe, believe in him and believe in me. Together we would fly away in a cloud of green to our beautiful destiny. As we soared above the town that never loved me, I finally realized I had a family. Soon enough we would reach Neverland peacefully. My feet hit the sand and ever since that day, I'm a lost boy from Neverland. Song right now, take my hand. I've waited my whole life for this one night. Isn't that one of the messages? You've waited your whole life for this to come forward. So, two of them are awake, getting ready to go. One of them is sleeping, third party situation. Where someone's leaving, the grandmother's whispering. It's time to go. Time to go. Um, so, <sighs> gardener. So when when we think about the gar gardening, our uh, the gardens of our life, you know, you, you know, clean up your own garden, uh, weed your own garden, um, work in your own garden, cultivate your garden, love your garden. Love doesn't grow. A plant doesn't grow if it's not cultivated, if it's not loved, if it's not watered, if it's not nursed, nurtured right? It doesn't, you can't just throw it out there and expect it to, to, to grow up by itself and, and be there. Like you've got to, like that person who, who, uh, is afraid to love anyone and doesn't let anyone in unless they're, they know first they're, they're, they're devoted to them. Well, you, you can't nurture love that way. Love is a two way street, right? So a gentle gardener, it's, it's asking you to, to be gentle with yourself. You're the co-creator with the divine, right? Mother earth is looking down upon you as well. You've got that energy to co-create. You've got the ability. You've got the gifts. What are your qualities? What are your thoughts? What, what is it that you like to do? Everybody has a miracle inside of them. 
everybody has gifts inside of them and possibilities that can arise from from staying positive and expecting the universe to support us and that's what the universe is doing we're supporting you the three says full circle completion something's over right there's a new beginning from an, an, an every ending every from one beginnings ending comes a new beginning and the grandmother is here to assist be gentle with yourself this is new right this is um a new experience right there you're leaving your prison of your gilded cage out into the unknown it's a, a rebirth a, something new a new beginning a new job a new a new, a new city um a new relationship um a new project idea um a new way of of, of looking at something uh, epiphanies that have come to you um, spirit has brought you messages that that, that you're connecting uh, another piece of the puzzle for your for your life right so you you, you need to understand Spirit's always watching, and we're never alone. And we can't stay stagnant. It's time to move forward. It's like I waited my whole life for this one night, so it's time to go, right? So then we go on to stuck in the mud, but stuck in the mud is reverse. That's interesting. Of all the cards, this is the only one that's in reverse. Well, you're stuck in the mud, Ganesh, the obstacle remover. You're your own obstacle remover. Remember I said the obstacle remover was listening? He was balancing up on top of that mountain in that palace. And he was listening to the reading yesterday, but he's stuck in the mud. He was stuck in the mud. Hmm. There's a bird on his back. <clears throat> the bird is the bird is a canary. The canary is singing. So he was listening to the canary sing. Canary talks about, um, I mean, you just think of the color, yellow, new beginnings, happiness, um, sunshine, growth, um, abundance, good health, canary. Anything to do with yellow, canary totem. Happiness, right? Patience to enlighten yourself as well as others. It also is, when you think about a singing, it's controlling your voice. Being able to, to um, control your emotions, control um, the words that you say and how you say them. So somebody was singing. So if somebody's feeling stuck, um, don't berate them. Don't, don't. Uh, I, I, don't whip them, right? It's encouragement. Um, this, this, this elephant that was stuck in the mud, but that that bird never left. I've got your back. <laughs> I'm sitting on your back. I got your back. Um, the number twenty-four, two and four are six, which is endurance through this difficult sludgery, but ultimate victory, right? Two, like everything happening the way it's supposed to happen. Four, there's angels all around you, completely guiding, protecting, and loving you. There's no reason for fear. Uh, ultimate victory is going to happen here. So it's, um, how interesting. The number, the first message that we got is 23. That's how we start. And we go to seven, we go to two, and then we go to 24. We're, we're circling back around. So this is the next step, right? So maybe if the, if, if the card was, was in the upright, you're playing in the mud. You choose to stick yourself there. You're slowing down. You're, you're having a mud bath. You're, this is your own thing. But when you are upside down in the mud, obviously you're not going to choose to be upside down in the mud. You'd smother. So you're being, you're stuck because you're being obstinate. You want to get what you want, the way you want it, how you want it. And that's why you're not moving anywhere. And maybe you have um, gotten yourself into a position that you don't want to admit that you've gotten yourself to. Um, I'm, what I've chosen for me isn't right for me. It's not working. I'm not going anywhere. I can struggle and I can go nowhere. Or I can figure out where I'm at and figure out where I want to go and get out of the dirt, let it dry off, dust it off, right? And find something better to do. Something adve adventure. This is my message, right? Remember yesterday, that woman that was looking back? You know, well, that ship, you know, or that man that was looking back, whoever. I mean, I, t I told you, I take these messages for myself. So I, I, I'm, sit I'm not, I've been sitting around for a long time waiting. I'm not, I'm up in a tower, all right? I'm not up in a, this probably would have been me sitting up above on a rock balancing, right? I'm not up in that palace balancing, but something's coming apart because it certainly wasn't coming together for me, right? And the message that we got was, yeah, you know, there's love. I have love for this, but my ships are sailing and I got to go. I can't just freaking sit here and expect, you know, I, and, and no one can expect me to sit in a ghost land, in a wasteland, in the cold, you know, prove my devotion to you and then and then you'll come forward sorry it doesn't work that way clean your own house right go clean your own house because right now i've been doing a balancing act and it and and doesn't matter that there's love f 
falling from the ship. The ship is sailing. It's going away. So who am I? In, I, I don't want to be standing there holding on to a string while that person goes off on their adventures, right? That, that's my ship and it's sailing. So it's time to get off of it. Somebody said to me this morning, yeah, well, it's a beautiful view. Great, it's a beautiful view. I got no friends, no family, right? And I'm, and I'm stuck in a prison, a beautiful prison. So it's time to get out and go into the unknown. I don't know where I'm going, but that's the right path to take, right? I'm a co-creator. Spirit will bring me what I need. I am not gonna sit stuck in the mud upside down. And so it looks as though my ship is sailing. So that's my message. I, I told you, I take these messages for self. Uh, for you, it's your message too. Whichever one you chose, I choose them all. They're all mine. I'm going to ask for um, not any more from this because these are our messages and I don't want to make this long. We're almost at an hour. Um, I'm going to just ask for an affirmation for us. It might give us another clue. Um, let's do the affirmators. The affirmators are funny. Where are you guys? Affirmator. There you are. And I, you know what? The I can do it cards too. So, I can do it comes out first. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the sailing ship, and I did. <laughs> I'm so excited that I found it because I really thought that, oh, shoot, I left it there because we were wrapping it up because I didn't want the sails to bend. And uh, we took it out of the box to wrap it. And I thought, oh, did I leave it there, that place? I would have no proof, right, that I paid for it and was left. But it was waiting for me and the lights are all on. <laughs> My ship has come in and it's telling me it's time to go. I am not responsible for other people. We are all under the law of our own consciousness. It is not fun being a victim. I refuse to be helpless anymore. I claim my own power. Like that. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who choose, chose the fir trees. I do. I'm thinking again, again about Cambria and Morro Bay. It's actually Morro Bay that I really like. I have unlimited choices. Opportunities are everywhere. Today is a delightful day. Money comes to me in unexpected and expected ways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Correct for neutrality on all levels. I like that. I said, bring me a freaking bucket of money. Let me, you know what? I said, bring me a carpenter, an electrician, and a plumber so I can get my little trailer done. <laughs> bring me that. I create easily and effortlessly when I let my thoughts come from the loving space of my own heart, right? Co-creators with the divine. My heart is the center of my power. I follow my heart. Yeah. And for the hummingbird, correct for neutrality. Oop. At this very moment, enormous wealth and power are available to me. I choose to feel worthy and deserving. I am worthy and deserving. I deserve the best and I accept the best now. Bam. Hell yeah. Hell to the yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, affirmators and then we're off. If anybody would like to look deeper into your situation, my, my website is www.theangelswhisper.com. If you like the way I read, um, please click like, subscribe, and share my videos. You got to press all or you um, won't be notified of them all. I'm ready for those uh, videos to go, to be blasted out. I'm not, I'm wondering now, it's time for them to be given more exposure. So I'd appreciate you sharing and, and liking the videos. Comments are awesome. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Woo! Can't have all those. Can't have all those. I just heard, yes, you can. Oh, funny. Okay, so we'll take the ones that are face up. Hmm. Don't take it personally. <laughs> if someone starts speaking unkindly to me, I'll remember they've got something going on and it's got nothing to do with me. Like maybe they just shit their pants. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay. Courage. No one is fearless. Look at that. Look at him. Mighty Mouse. No one is fearless. No one. But even though I'm not fearless, I am courageous. When fear shows up, I don't run away from it. I use my courage to conquer it. My courage allows me to walk right up to the fear and kick it in the nuts and then quickly hide behind someone bigger until it goes away. So this is fear. Don't have fear of going out into the unknown, right? Joyville. No judgment. I release myself from all and any judgment. I find my inner critic. I call it into my office and I tell it to take a freaking vacation. As it leaves the room, I let out a sigh and begin to enjoy the joy of simply being. Who hired that guy anyway? Forgiveness. Congratulations, you've been given one of the most powerful superpowers there is, forgiveness. Imagine that you've been bitten by a radioactive um, forgiver. 
The point is, you suddenly have the ability to forgive people for their flaws, for their bad days, for their unkind moments, and for their mistakes. And the best thing about forgiveness is that you can apply it to yourself as well. Have fun wielding your new power. Remember, you don't, want, you're not, you don't see yourself upon that list with Superman, with all those super gifts, but you've got this superpower, superpower of forgiveness of self and of others. Remember, with great forgiveness comes great inner peace. Okay, what I need is great sleep. I cannot get over the, I need sleep. Ridiculous. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality. I will sleep well tonight. I will make sure that I do not listen to any videos, do not watch any television. I will go to sleep like a normal human being. Um, we are now working with the Pelican people. Two. Oh my God, this is funny. Patience and divine timing. <laughs> Everything is timing, 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 timing is everything. Gladly I release my concern over timing and let things happen when and as they will. I trust that the divine schedule makers know what they're doing. It can take a long time to reach divine middle management. Patience, congratulations, you've been granted one more patience. You may start using it right away or much, much later. Waiting a long time is a sort of option now afforded to you by greater patience. Can you believe it? Look at this. You're still reading and you haven't started getting annoyed yet. Imagine how, how this patience will transform your life. Imagine how easy it will be to go to the post office. Now, divine timing and patience, it doesn't mean that you're not to act when spirit tells you to act. It says that maybe something that you are wanting to have happen is going to take a little longer to have happen. But when they tell you to move forward on something, you move forward, right? Have patience with yourself, have patience with other people, um, have patience with, remember I was saying that that person was saying, I, I don't see myself upon that list. And sometimes people see that others are, they feel that others are uh, in more advanced state than they are or a higher position. So have patience with yourself and have patience with others that are learning, right? Have patience in that way. Have patience with, with um, maybe you got it and it took somebody else a little while to get it. Maybe you've been through what they hadn't been through yet, so it didn't take you as long to, to get it. Timing. So patience and timing, um, many different ways. Shakira. Isn't this... My hips don't lie. I'm sure that that's what it was, right? What I like is, I don't lie. Funny that that came up, my hips don't lie. No fighting, we got the refugees up here, no fighting. Never knew she could dance like that. Baby, when you talk like that, you make a woman or man go mad, so be wise and keep on reading the signs. My hips don't lie. Okay, I think that's it, you guys. I'm gonna upload this one hour and two minutes, that's long enough, and uh, I'm gonna get doing whatever it is that I need to get doing for the rest of the day. We'll see. Hmm, I was told something else just now. Okay, I was questioning it, but I heard just do it. So we wanna lead with love. My girlfriend Erica gave me this inspirational book and I love it, so. Um, correct for neutrality on all levels, which left, left or right, right. You may wonder if the most wonderful moments of your life are already behind you, or you may think the happiest moment of your life is still to come, but this is the moment that we've been waiting for. You may wonder if the most wonderful moments of your life are already behind you, or you may think the happiest moments of your life is the happiest moment of your life is still to come, but this is the moment we have been waiting for. So it's about living in the present moment, right? It's always uh, also that message about, you know, oh, I'll be happy when this happens, or I, I, uh, what, you know, I remember when, but it's now. Love is really sacrifice. It's actually not vocal. Although it can be enunciated, it has to be practiced. You need both. It's very easy to be a servant, but very difficult to be of service. When you are of service, you're there whether you like it or not, whether it's Sunday, Monday, or a holiday. You're there whenever you're needed. See, this is the reciprocal energy of love, right? Lead with love. Love you guys.